wolf and the seven little goats. Once upon a time, there was a mother goat who had seven little goats. They were small, playful, and very silly. Mother goat loved them very much. One day she told her little goats, my little ones, I'm going to the market. You will stay at home. Where are you going, mommy? Asked the smallest little goat, wagging his little tail. I'm going to the market to buy food, said mother goat. But listen carefully. Do not open the door for anyone. There is a big, bad wolf in the forest. If the wolf comes, don't let him in. How will we know if it's the wolf, Mommy? Asked another little goat. Mother goat explained. The wolf has a rough, scratchy voice and big black paws. If you hear his voice or see his black paws, don't open the door. Be careful of the wolf. Yes, Mommy, we'll be careful, shouted all the little goats at the same time. Good, said Mother Goat, giving each one a kiss. I'm leaving now. Lock the door and remember what I told you. And so, Mother Goat went off to the market. The little goats locked the door and stayed inside. They played, jumped and ran around the house. It's so fun being alone, they said, but then someone knocked on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Who is it? Asked the biggest little goat. It's me, your mommy, said a voice from outside. Open the door for me. But the little goats were very smart. They knew that this voice didn't sound like their mommy. It sounded rough and scratchy. You're not our mommy. You're the wolf, shouted one little goat. Mommy has a soft, sweet voice. You have a rough, scratchy voice, shouted another little goat. The wolf growled. Darn it, they found out, he said. And he ran away quickly. The wolf was very angry. He went to find some honey to make his voice sound sweet. I'll trick those little goats, the wolf thought. I'll catch them. The wolf came back to the little goat's house. Knock, knock, knock. Who is it? Asked the little goats. It's me, your mommy, said the wolf with a sweet voice. Open the door, my little ones. The little goats listened to the voice. This time it sounded like their mommy, but they remembered something else. Show us your paws, said one little goat. Our mommy has white, soft paws. The wolf looked at his big, dirty black paws. Oh no, he thought. They found out again. So the wolf ran to the mill and covered his paws with white flour. Now my paws look like mommy's, the wolf thought. And he went back to the house. Knock, knock, knock. Who is it? asked the little goats again. It's me, your mommy, said the wolf with a very sweet voice. Open the door. Look, I have white paws. The little goats saw the white paws under the door and thought, it's mommy. So the little goats opened the door, but it wasn't their mommy. It was the wolf. Oh no, it's the wolf, shouted all the little goats. They ran all around the house trying to hide. One little goat hid under the bed. Another hid behind the curtains. Another jumped into a big pot in the kitchen. But the wolf found them, one by one. Mmm, yummy little goats, said the wolf laughing. The wolf ate six of the little goats, one after the other. But the smallest little goat who had hidden inside the big clock wasn't found. The wolf was so full, he didn't look anymore. After eating the little goats, the wolf waddled outside and lay down under a big tree. He was snoring loudly. What a delicious meal, said the wolf before falling asleep. 
a little later, Mother Goat came back from the market. Little goat, I'm home, she called, but no one answered. Mother Goat started to look around the house. Oh, no! cried Mother Goat when she saw the door open. The wolf was here! Mother Goat searched for her little goats, but she couldn't find them. Where are my babies? she cried. Suddenly, she heard a tiny voice. Mommy, I'm here, said the smallest little goat from inside the clock. Mother Goat pulled him out of the clock and gave him a big hug. Thank goodness you're safe. What happened? The wolf came, Mommy. He had a sweet voice and white paws. He tricked us and ate my brothers and sisters, said the little goat with tears in his eyes. Mother Goat was very sad, but she was also very angry. Let's go find that wolf, she said firmly. Mother Goat and the smallest little goat went into the forest. They didn't have to search long before they found the wolf snoring under a tree. His belly was very, very big because he had eaten the little goats. Mother Goat looked at the wolf and had an idea. Quick, bring me scissors and some big stones, she told the little goat. The little goat ran to the house and brought scissors and big, heavy stones. Mother Goat carefully cut the wolf's belly open. And one by one, the six little goats came out, alive. Mommy, we're safe, shouted all the little goats, jumping with joy. Mother Goat wasn't done yet. Quick! Bring me some big stones, she told the little goats. And while the wolf was still sleeping, Mother Goat filled his belly with heavy stones and sewed it back up. When the wolf woke up, he was very thirsty. Why do I feel so heavy? He wondered. He walked to the river to drink some water, but with all those stones in his belly, he lost his balance and fell into the river. The wolf was never seen again. The little goats jumped and sang. Hooray! The wolf is gone! Mother goat hugged all her little goats. My little ones, you are safe now. But remember, you must always be careful and never open the door for strangers. Yes, Mommy! We promise, said the little goats, smiling. And so, Mother Goat and her seven little goats lived happily and safely ever after. The end.